Hi everybody, my name is Max and today I'm going to be taking you through the basics of using our MP3 audio player for WordPress to create awesome music or podcast website. In the WordPress dashboard, go to Plugins, Add New, and search for MP3 Sonar. Click Install Now and click Activate. If you are using uh, Elementor Page Builder, you can create a playlist in real time inside the Elementor Page Builder using our Sonar MP3 widget. But if you don't use Elementor, you have to create a playlist. Let me deactivate Elementor. You have to create a playlist, add audio tracks to it, and finally add the audio player on any page using shortcodes or Gutenberg block. To create a playlist, go to MP3 Player, All Playlists, and click Add New Playlist. Input the name of your album title or playlist title. Then choose a playlist cover or album cover. Finally, you can add audio tracks right here. You can uh, either upload a local MP3 file directly from your computer or click external mp3 to use an audio file hosted uh, on an external server or if you want to stream uh, audio from a streaming server. In my case I'm gonna click local mp3 and the information you see here are taken directly from your uh, files metadata so you, you can change the title of your uh, track name here and the artist name now you can add uh, some call to action uh, links for each of your tracks. In this case, I would create a download button. I copy, copy paste uh, the uh, file uh, URL so people will be able to download it. And I will create a Spotify link. All right, so I can also add the external links buttons uh, below the track list. And finally, I'm gonna create a download button so people can download the album for free if I want. So I will input uh, the zip file that contains all my tracks uh, that I have previously uploaded on the server. Once you're done, you scroll up, you click Publish, and to see the result, you click View Playlist. You will see the player which is embedded in our single playlist page template. If you want to display the player on your own page, by example, there are three ways to do this. You can use a shortcode, you can use Elementor widget if you use Elementor Builder, or you can use Gutenberg block if you use a Gutenberg editor. Okay, go ahead and create a new page by going to Pages, Add New. Then I'm gonna add the, the classic uh, block and click this icon. So here I'm gonna choose um, the previous playlist I have created. So I choose predefined playlist and I select the playlist and I can choose some uh, attributes and click insert shortcode and here's my shortcode uh, generated. That's it, click publish. Once the shortcode has been generated, you can always change the attributes directly in the shortcode text. So for example, if you want to show the playlist, um, but you want to remove the timeline here, so you will need to uh, set the I timeline to true. So I'm gonna locate uh, the attribute I timeline, and I will set it to true while keeping the show playlist to true as well. So I'm all right, I click update and I refresh the page 
and the timeline has disappeared. It's the same thing uh, if I want to hide the artwork or the album cover, I set hide art artwork to true. I click refresh and the artwork has disappeared. For a complete list of uh, shortcode attributes, check the video description. There is also a more advanced way to quickly add a player without having to create a playlist. That is good to know if you want to build a player with uh, your own dynamic shortcode or build something more complex. Click the music note and choose the audio URL input advance. You input your playlist title. You choose a cover image. And here you're gonna separate each of your URL by a two vertical bar. So let's say I have three tracks in that playlist. I add on my URL separated by a uh, two uh, bar. Track title is the same thing. So for my first URL, my track name will be uh, track number one, two bars, track number two, and my last track title. I can input the track uh, image URL uh, the same ways. And I click uh, show tracklist, insert short code, update, click refresh, and here's the playlist. First of all, what is Elementor? For those who are unfamiliar with it, it's a free uh, page builder plugin for WordPress. It's currently the most popular page builder in the world and we strongly recommend it. It's so easy to use and it's very, very powerful. Elementor has a free version and a pro version. The good news is you don't need Elementor Pro to use our plugin. All right, let's add Elementor uh, plugin. Go to uh, plugins, add new, and search for Elementor. Here you go. Click install now. And click uh, activate. Okay, so to use uh, Elementor um, widget, uh, create a new page and click Exit with Elementor. Look for the Sonar MP3 uh, audio player. Sonar MP3 uh, music player, this one with the green bar. Drag and drop it. And here's the player. You can choose uh, between two playlist source, so playlist post, and you're gonna choose a predefined uh, playlist, so that's the one we created before. Or you can upload the, your track directly in Elementor by choosing the playlist source, this widget. So I'm gonna call um, my playlist title uh, uh, Great Playlist Title. And I'm gonna add tracks. So here I have three tracks, Tempos Illusion. If I want to rename it, I just uh, go here. Right, uh, and I can upload a playlist uh, image cover. I'm gonna choose this one. Another option we have is you can decide uh, to set specific cover images to represent each of your tracks. Well, I'm gonna choose a specific uh, tra image cover for this track. Another one here.
If you want to fully customize the player's look and feel with Elementor and their real-time editor, then we have a paid add-on for this called Sonar MP3 Audio Player Pro. Not only the Pro version will allow you to customize the player uh, with Elementor, but it will give you the ability to have continuous audio playback uh, through your pages with their persistent and sticky player, as well as uh, audio statistic and reports. The link to get the premium version is in the video description. If you use the uh, Gutenberg editor, you can use the Sonor MP3 uh, player block uh, to add an audio player to your page. So search for the Sonor uh, widget, click Sonor MP3, then uh, go to block player settings, and you have several uh, attributes you can set. Once you're done, click Publish. Oh, don't forget to... You can easily change the audio player's overall colors and fonts by going to MP3 Player, Settings. The first option you will see is the Waveform Type, which gives you the ability to use a synthetic waveform uh, under the player, I will show you in a moment. So here, that's a waveform. Or a dynamic waveform um, the, that represented uh, your beat's frequency in real time. It's pretty cool. The downside of the last one is that it loads uh, much slower because it needs to pre-download the audio in the backend to analyze the track and display the sound wave. So use this uh, option only if you have short mp3 clips. Otherwise use a synthetic waveform. The rest of the settings are pretty uh, self-explanatory. You can change the playlist the font, the font size, the font color, album title, album subtitle. And also the colors of the button and the track store, uh, the sound wave bars, etc. So here I'm gonna do some freestyle and I will accelerate the video. Now, what is the difference between the free and the pro version of the Sonar MP3 player? The pro add-on has everything that the free version has to offer, plus a sticky audio player option, a continuous audio playback with a persistent player across all your pages, ability to style the player using the Elementor widget, ability to add a scroll bar for the track list, statistic reports, and much more. So that's it. If you have any questions or feedback, comments in the comment box below. All the links for this uh, and everything we cover on the channel in the video description. And uh, thanks for watching. Have a nice day.